Good morning, everybody. In my moment this morning, I would like to read a short story from Max Lucado. I hope that you find it as enjoyable and inspirational as I did. Blessings. John did not know on that Friday what you and I now know. He didn't know that Friday's tragedy would be Sunday's triumph. John would later confess that he did not yet understand from the scriptures that Jesus must rise from the dead, John 20, verse 9. That's why he did on Saturday is so important. We don't know anything about this day. We have no passage to read, no knowledge to share. All we know is this. When Sunday came, John was still present. When Mary Magdalene came looking for him, she found him. Jesus was dead. The master's body was lifeless. John's friend and future were buried, but John had not left. Why? Was he waiting for the resurrection? No. As far as he knew, the lips were forever silent and the hands forever still. He wasn't expecting a Sunday surprise. Then why was he here? You think he would have left. Who was to say that the men who crucified Christ would not come after him? The crowds were pleased. With one crucifixion, the religious leaders might have called for more. Why did John not get out of town? Perhaps the answer was pragmatic. Perhaps he was taking care of Jesus' mother. Or perhaps he didn't have anywhere else to go. Could it be that he didn't have any money or energy or direction or all of the above? Or maybe he lingered because he loved Jesus. To others, Jesus was a miracle worker. To others, Jesus was a master teacher. To others, Jesus was hope of Israel. But to John, he was all of these and more. To John, Jesus was a friend. You don't abandon a friend, not even when the friend is dead. John stayed close to Jesus. He had a habit of doing this. He was close to Jesus in the upper room. He was close to Jesus in the garden. He was at the foot of the cross at the crucifixion, and he was a quick walk from the tomb at the burial. Did he understand Jesus? No. Was he glad that Jesus did what he did? No. But did he leave Jesus? No. What about you? When you're in John's position, what do you do? When you are somewhere between yesterday's tragedy and tomorrow's triumph, what do you do? Do you leave God or do you linger near him? John chose to linger and because he lingered on Saturday, he was around on Sunday to see the miracle. Blessings.